What's up guys? Today I just wanted to show you something I've been working on a little bit. Um, it's basically a cargo ship. It's designed to be a smuggling ship. Um, it's going to have a hangar at the back just here under the engines and uh, side entrances. The idea is that all the cargo actually attaches to these rails that you can't really see. <laughs> um, so there's a m number of pods and I'm working on a kind of transformation sequence for the unload. So there's a few other things. Uh, this will be the bridge. This is the main access corridor, which contains the jump drives, which there are two of at the moment, and the cloak. Um, if there's any crew rooms, they're going to exist at this end probably, and maybe another one at this end. I've lived, give, left myself plenty of room. Um, but the, there's a few things on this which are pretty interesting, like I say. Uh, the first one was the uh, escape pods will come off of the bridge. They'll be used for scouting as well. So if I just show you the operation on that, I think this should work. Oh, I need to open the doors. <coughs> come on. There we go. And that will slide the scout out of the hull. Oh, works. Um, and then dock it up, get out, boat up inside here. This could be locked at the moment, so this would be pressurised. After the server catches up, there's a working on the mechanism to close and open um yeah so that is that is so to put them forward here have a hangar at the back for larger ships but um yeah it's a very compact design the reason it's got a lot of enhancers you'll see in a minute um the first set of logic is designed to push all of the containers outside because I love the way that General Duma's station does that so I wanted to incorporate that into a very small hauler type vessel uh, thinking about like in EVE Online there's a particular transport ship looks a bit like a bug shell I doubt I'll I doubt I'll do a bug shell but um, yeah anyway uh, let's show you so where's the button button it opens the hatch so this will cover the so these this opens up and then out come your pods and I'll make sure this is actually remarkably whoa lagging all of a sudden Right, okay, it was actually a lot easier than I thought in the end because of the way that you can switch the blocks over. So I'm just going to take you through how they actually made this thing do what it wants to do. Um, if you select the rail rotator, and this one is clockwise, three of these, and I had to, ro I had to, had to make them go round and round and round until they're in the right position for this to work. I've got a T-flip. One pushes that one and that one, and the knot pushes that one and that one. This is obviously going to change the right sides. The top two buttons govern the right rotator, and the bottom two buttons govern the left rotator. And I probably could do this in a more efficient way, but all I'm doing is I'm telling it to turn, and then I'm swapping the rotator for its opposite. So at the moment this one's counterclockwise and this one's clockwise. So when the T-flip goes off it's going to change the clockwise into a counterclockwise and the counterclockwise into a clockwise. So then you get this. And in single player they both shut and open at the same time so it's quite funny to watch it do it like this. One of the blocks is getting, uh, is getting. 
yeah, flappy ship. And then the idea, like I say, this will be a proper part of the outer hull running all the way down. Uh, and it will actually cover up the cargo. Um, so that when I come to unload, it can have this opening and ejecting sequence. It should look pretty cool. Um, and I think that's, that's about it. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. Um, just have a little bit of fun with exchanging the blocks much as I did with this crazy thing over here. Is it still running or has it died? Yeah, these things seem, seem to run a lot better in single player is something I've noticed. The slow rotation stuff doesn't seem to have the same problems. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. That's all I got for you. So, I'll see you next time.